and it doesn't matter that they're blind. But the fact is that don't be worried about what you don't know. In fact, if your boss tells you you are in the uh, in the sports practice from tomorrow and you've never played anything except, you know, what's it called, knots and crosses in your life, don't worry, that's your chance to learn. So the habit I'm inculcating, I'm telling you all to inculcate in yourself is be willing to go beyond your comfort zone. Don't stay in your comfort zone. That doesn't mean that you suddenly try and write a press release in Urdu. No. Let's know your limitations. Okay. But if you have a chance to be put in the language media team, please go ahead because you will learn more about languages by being in that team. All I'm saying is, 40 years ago, 35 years ago, 40 years ago when I started working, there were no opportunities of this kind. But today you have the opportunity that if you're working with a company which has that kind of bandwidth, you have the opportunity to be exposed to things which you otherwise will not be exposed to. On the other hand, if you're good at commerce, if you're good at hospitality, and you have a chance to be in the hospitality team, then make sure you grow much faster than the other guy who hasn't been there. Otherwise, your experience is of no use. And if you see that you're not growing as fast, get out and do something else quickly. Within that scheme of things. It doesn't mean give up instantly, but be willing to be open to something else, which means that your learning skill in that was not good enough. Don't blame the world, blame yourself. All of us today, especially in today's environment, we blame the world. The net was slow, the metro was late, my mother didn't cook nicely, or the maid was you know, burnt the milk, whatever it is. Okay? You always blame the external world. The blame is on you. The world is saying that, but today everyone is so politically correct, they don't say that to you. Okay? You're not so scared and walking on eggs and saying all the right things. They don't say, you're a jerk, you messed up. Okay? The world is actually saying that, but they're not telling you this. So your learning is actually slower. In the old days, in my class, if somebody didn't answer a question in my classroom, you used to get wrapped on the knuckles. Nowadays, the battle is not allowed. If you gave the wrong answer, the duster came out on in a track like this. And you jolly well remember next time. You don't make a mistake as I there. I still have evidence of it, but you used to, you used to get beaten. Now, the equivalent of it today is saying, oh, oh, maybe we should give you another chance. Hang on. In real life, you don't. They may say that. The next time they get, they get a chance, they move on to the next person. That's why many of you get left behind. So, be willing to experiment. Be willing to fall down and pick up the pieces. Be willing to take criticism. This is another habit, which is missed out most often. Be willing to take criticism. In fact, I always tell people, which I will even today, what is it that you all wanted to hear which you missed out on? I have to be willing to hear that I missed out on talking about this, which is why I asked at the beginning, what do you want to talk about? So I give you the chance to say, okay, we want you to talk about this. But you have to be willing to finish this classroom, walk out there, call Dave from the car and say, what did I, what did I not do?